studio smells like fresh baked bread. It's fantastic in here. And we're delighted to welcome Cobb's Fresh Bread Company on the show this morning and as a sponsor of the show. We're joined by local franchisee owners, Chris and Yelena Reich. They're with the Century Crossing location in Spruce Grove, just west of the city, of course. So welcome to CTV Morning Live. Well, thank, thank you, you very for much. having us. It smells amazing. How do you do this every morning? Uh, you must just down it, it's hard. every day. Pretty much. Every day I'm taking home some fresh bread. So. Uh, so you guys work hours like we work, perhaps even earlier. What, yeah. time, what time is somebody in On a regular in day, we're coming in at... 2 o'clock, uh, some days 1 a.m. and around the holidays we're almost starting right as soon as the doors close the previous day. Wow. Um, since everything's done fresh from scratch, um, we need to come in early so that we have bread for our customers. And, and you do, you clear the shelves after you close the doors and where does that bread go? So everything that doesn't sell each day we donate to our local charities. So in Spruce Grove we deal with Parkland Food Bank and a couple of more churches. Wow, so somebody, it's not going to the garbage yeah, can, right? It's Which always is going to someone in need. That's fantastic to hear. Okay, so you're going to put me to work. Yeah. All right, it's 8.30, so I'm a little bit behind <laughs> on my shift. Uh, what are we making here? You're going to teach me how to, to, to uh, shape I'm it? I'm going to just show you the molding process for our uh, tomato, oh, you, where sun are you going? tomato, <laughs> sun <-dried laughs> tomato <laughs> French baguette. So this whole process takes 20 hours, so obviously we can't hours. show it all. What do you mean 20 hours? What takes so long? Um, we start at the day before. We um, mix some flour water, just a little bit of yeast, and that sits for 14 hours. Okay. Then we add in some more flour, water, and yeast the next day and mix it further. Okay. Then for this one, we also add in a little bit of sun-dried tomato. Okay. Can you give us both a piece? And we yeah, can... of course. So I'm just rounding some out here, okay. but we've rounded some out previously. All right. This is a little bit of a process. So you're going to take a piece and you're going to turn it around, sticky side up. Okay. And now you're going to fold it into a uh, thirds, kind of into the middle. Okay. We're being very careful with this one because uh, very little yeast, so we can't degas it. We need to oh. maintain a lot of bread you've probably worked so with. So be gentle. Yeah, gentle. Oh, okay. So a third and a third. Now you're going to stick your thumb on the bottom and you're going to pull the top down to the bottom. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. And just keep doing it? Yeah, just keep doing it the whole way. And why am I doing this? Um, this is to bring it together so that we're not, again, pressing it out. We're trying to be very gentle with oh. this dough. It, uh, How do you know if you've overworked it? We'll find out after it comes oh, out okay. of the oven. Okay, so you don't know until it comes out. <laughs> You'll see it a little it bit. Yeah. And, feel. Okay. and then all we're going to do is now just roll it just like you would Play Doh as a kid, you know, and just back and forth, stretching it a little okay. bit. All right. And oh, then this uh, is much longer than mine. <laughs> tapering off on the And do they have to be like a regulation length or something? Uh, yes, we, everything's oh. we know up to a certain standard. Oh, you've done this before. Ah, She's done it a lot yeah. too. You guys are show offs. That's fantastic. <laughs> and then there's my little terrible one. Stretch it Looks out. Good. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's not bad, not bad. This is one of our hardest products to do, actually. Oh, oh so. I bet. Um, you have something called Turkish bread, and Yelena, that's what you said was your favorite because there must be a lot of things that you'd like to eat. But Turkish bread, tell us what that is. So, as you can see, it's really airy, mm -hmm. and again, it takes 20 hours from start to finish to get a product. It's excellent for entertaining. It goes well with all sorts of oils and dips. Mm -hmm. So, if you're having a party, it's a must have, I would say. All right, I'm just going to take a small. <laughs> and you have lots of pastries as well, right? Yeah, we have scones, danishes, croissants. Uh, we do cinnamon buns every day, uh, maple scrolls. Different products coming out every day. There's just such a wide variety. Do you have regular customers that, that come in every morning to buy bread? Yeah. Yes. Like they, like There's that's one such guy, a European he, thing yeah. to do, hey? Yeah. I know that one guy always has cinnamon scones and mini white loaf. So you have a few customers you just see every day coming back for the same thing. Very cool. Well, while our mouths water here in the kitchen, we want to let you in on a fantastic giveaway this morning. Free bread for a year, which we think of that's about uh, one loaf a week, yeah. right? It could be yours if you email us now at edmmorning at ctv.ca. This Turkish bread, really nice. <laughs> I recommend that one. We have a link to Cobb's Fresh Bread on our website, edmonton.ctvnews.ca. Just click on Morning Live, and thank you so much for coming in. Thank we you really appreciate it, and you must be exhausted. <laughs> but up really early, we have more CTV Morning Live straight ahead. CTV Morning Live, sponsored by Cobb's Bread. Baked today, sold today.